Does Bitcoin facilitate illegal trading? Uh, yeah, probably, but uh, you know, so does the US dollar, so does gold. Uh, remember, Bitcoin transactions travel wallet to wallet, where the wallet identities are disguised. So in that sense, they're very similar to like using US cash in facilitating illegal trades. But on the other hand, remember what I told you, the wallet histories are publicly available. Right, so, okay, so the identities aren't quite linked up, but you know, with enough forensics, I mean, you could potentially, you know, who knows what you could possibly uncover. You've got the whole history of transactions. You know, if you discover somebody has a wallet on their computer, and I can see, I, you know, I can link you to that wallet, and I can see these transactions, if I'm some government authority, and you know, you, you're gonna have some explaining to do. That, that's not a property of the US cash transactions. Okay, so in any case, you know, uh, these types of currencies, they're just tools. They're, they could be used for good or e evil. They also uh, support a lot of legal trading. Can Bitcoin be regulated? Some countries have issued an outright ban on the use of the Bitcoins and other currencies. So, in fact, you know, these currency controls are nothing new. You see this all the time in history. Countries are always imposing, you know, I don't want, it's illegal for you to own U.S. dollars. You cannot open a U.S. dollar bank account in some countries. You know, they do this all the time, obviously, to protect their local currency. Something different about Bitcoin, though, I mean, is that there is no centralized authority that governs the uh, creation, you know, that manages the value of this, this object. How, how do you, how do you uh, regulate something that has no central head? It's like trying to slay the hydra. You cut off one head and like, three other heads up here. I mean, it's this distributed network out there in the world. I mean, how are you supposed to regulate something like that? Uh, that might either frighten you, or you might find that very exciting, depending on your point of view, but it's a fact. Can Bitcoins be taxed? Well, just the other day, in the US, the IRS has ruled that for tax purposes, Bitcoins will be treated as property and not currency. When I first looked at that, I went, what the? What, what are they talking about? But, uh, okay, here's, this is what they're talking about. When you buy and sell bitcoins, now you must report the resulting capital gain or loss on your tax form. Okay. Compliance, if you choose to comply, and I'm sure everybody in this room will, <laughs> <laughs> compliance means an added record keeping cost, right? And you're a merchant, and remember, I mean, if these other currencies start to circulate, you're going to have to, you know, you can expect similar rulings. And now if you want to comply, now not only do you have to manage the exchange rate risk, but now you're going to have to, and remember, the price volatility, you are going to experience capital gains and losses. You're going to have to keep track of them and report them. Uh, so yeah, this, this, makes, this makes it more difficult, right? The effect of this and similar rulings serve to diminish the attractiveness of Bitcoins as currency. Does anybody use Ripple? Wow, I think you guys might be the winners. Because Ripple is a currency agnostic protocol. You know, Bitcoin relies, Bitcoin wants to be the money. Ripple, it, they have their native currency, but they don't necessarily, Ripple is a, a protocol that works very similarly to, to Bitcoin, but it's more interested in, in facilitating and processing payments, but it'll, it'll process US dollars, euros, bitcoins, it's native currency, it's currency agnostic. And so it's quite possible that uh, this ruling actually benefits the uh, payments processors as opposed to the uh, virtual currencies that really wanna be uh, competing currency. Um, but of course, enforcing an outright ban is, is, is close to impossible, right? If people wanna use Bitcoin, they're gonna use Bitcoin, it's just gonna drive it underground. 